Welcome Seekers, you have made it to the Tarot Magician channel. My name is Ricky, and today I bring you another Pick A Card Tarot reading. We will answer the question, who you are meant to be, or I will provide you information on who you are meant to be. Um, this is going to be a very detailed soul reading. All right, so before we get started, I do want to remind the people that have not subscribed to this channel that are watching me for the first time to subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a like for more future content just like this. Also, I started a Patreon not too long ago. I am offering uh, pretty much weekly readings there, uh, prediction readings, what will happen next. And um, you'll also be able to be entered into a monthly raffle where you can win a free private reading with me. So support me on Patreon for more exclusive content. Um, also, you'll be assisting the channel. You'll be assisting me and help uh, bring the message to the world about spirit and um, spirituality as a whole. So thank you, Seekers. Thank you for your love, your support. The link is going to be in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started, Seekers. In front of you, you have three groups you have group number one group number two and group number three i want you to take a moment to select the group that calls your attention the most the group that just brings you in if you select multiple groups that's fine make sure to watch the first one that calls to you and the second after that all right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the timestamps in the description below so that you seekers can fast forward to your group. Welcome group number one to your who you are meant to be. Pick a card tarot reading. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already and support me on Patreon. I have a lot of exclusive content there that you seekers are going to love. All right, so in front of you, you have two oracle cards. All right, now these two oracle cards are going to represent the theme of today's reading and uh, give us much more information on who you are meant to be in this lifetime. Again, this is a soul reading. So these two cards are brand new. The first card that we're going to reveal is from Diana Cooper's brand new Magic of the Unicorn Oracle deck. So let's go ahead and reveal the first card and the first theme of your life. Look at this, soul satisfaction, honor your uniqueness, do what makes you feel good. What a beautiful card. What a beautiful, beautiful card to get, especially for a soul reading. Uh, we actually have a mention of your soul in this uh, card, so it's it's even more beautiful. Um, what this is telling you, and what the theme of, of the reading so far is, uh, has to do with you coming to this world, reincarnating in this time, to feel a sense of joy and happiness. So a lot of you really are here to just live your lives to the fullest, to be, to be just filled with joy, to have beautiful experiences, um, potentially to forget the fact that you are an eternal being, uh, start a whole new life with uh, just a whole new set of ideas. And, um, you know, I think that a lot of you that came to this world were really just looking for the experience, right? For the, for the, the, the enjoyment, the contentment that comes with uh, just starting all over again. I, I, I envision you know, someone that's eternal with all of these memories of past lives and all of these different experiences, at some point potentially maybe going through a period of boredom. And so you just decided, look, I wanna experience another life. I want to experience something new. So I'm gonna go ahead and reincarnate on earth. And uh, I'm just gonna go through the, through, through, through the motions. I'm going to just experience this life and I'm gonna try to enjoy it as much as I can. So, you know, there is a sense of uniqueness to you and um, also there's just uh, this strong energy of I'm here to have fun, I'm here to, to enjoy. Very interesting. So that's the first portion uh, or, or just the, the, the first oracle card or the first theme of your reincarnation of the reason that you are here. All right, so the second oracle card is uh, also new. This is a new deck from the Soul Love Oracle by Janet Choi. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and reveal it. Let's see what your other theme is. Heal, okay, 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 heal. Wounds need to be acknowledged before they can heal, especially those unseen. Give yourself the time, space, whatever is necessary to regain your wholeness. Wow, 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 wow. So these two cards um, have just completely lined up. Like there is a strong, strong, strong message here for you. Um, you pick this group <clears throat> and, and you, you pick this life in order to, to just in order to just experience something completely unique. So, you know, I, I do feel like a lot of you in past lives have experienced an immense amount of pain. Um, so some of you have potentially, you know, reincarnated to maybe potentially make up for that or just have a new experience that's a bit more pleasing, a bit more satisfying. And so this leads me to believe that you and, and you're, you're destined to, to have a lot of good, beautiful experiences in this life. And so there's a sense of just old, harsh, karmic injustices flipping over and just allowing you to, to be at peace in this world. So, you know, whatever, wherever you are in your life right now, I feel that things are going to really drastically improve. Um, I feel that a lot of the people watching this have many blessings that aren't available to other people in other parts of the world. A lot of people watching this are potentially people who are going to experience even more blessings, even more growth, even more of that beautiful part of the human experience. And you're, you're essentially here because of that. You picked the body that you're in right now because that body has the greatest potential to experience the joy, to experience the satisfaction that comes with just seeing the beauty of life and just uh, completely getting lost in it. You know, so you are here to experience the most beautiful part of life. Um, now, you know, I'm getting this feeling, this overwhelming feeling that some of you are potentially telling yourselves like, well, that hasn't been my reality. That's not how I feel deep down internally. That's not how I am able to process what's going on right now. And that is perfectly normal. And the reason why is because you have a lot of baggage coming from your past life. You have a lot of very negative, 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 negative experiences that are a part of your unconscious mind. And so there is a very strong sense here of having to heal that, trying to, to get through that energy, trying to overcome that. And so that's why you've reincarnated in this life. You're here to, in some ways, uh, work through those issues, work through that problem. And the best way for you to be able to work through those problems is in this body, in this life right now. Um, so, you know, in this other dimension that you were in, you unfortunately just, you had all of your memories from all of your other lives. And so in order for you to be able to truly learn and grow and expand, it needed to happen in a human body. So you are here because of that. You're here to experience this energy of newness, to be able to use your voice for something beautiful, to be able to find this sense of balance in a, in a body, in an actual physical body. Um, because if you don't address this, if you don't find that balance, then unfortunately, every time you reincarnate, and you're, 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 you're always going to have that same energy of something's going to go wrong. Something is about to go terribly wrong. Time is running out. And so these fears, these anxieties, you know, sometimes you just feel overwhelmed. Um, sometimes you feel very pressured and, and you feel like time is working against you. So all of that is past karma. All of that is just past pain from a past life. And um, yeah, you, you know, you, you've just kind of brought that on into this life and so it's almost like a balancing act right so this life is going to be structured to the point where you are going to meet the least resistance resistance possible you're going to meet the least harshness uh and and just um difficult experiences as possible you're going to live through uh, a life that in some ways is, is has been geared to assist you as as uh, as humanly possible it's like you're going to find that assistance if you want it uh you're going to find the help if you want it so in many ways you're you know 
you're bringing on all of this mental torment, emotional torment. Uh, so a lot of you really, if you feel that you have some kind of problem, it's really internal um, because your external world has been designed and somewhat, yeah, just designed to help you and assist you. Um, you know, compare that to someone that potentially is going through some very difficult, difficult, challenging times, right? Or was born with some kind of disease or, you know, I'm just trying to give you like, like, um, I'm trying to give you the, uh, the difference of, of reincarnating in a certain body as to another. So I feel that a lot of you are, are going to experience a lot of blessings, a lot of beautiful things in this life. So let's go ahead and throw some tarot. Let's go ahead and see if we can get any, for any other, any other messages through the tarot. Let's see what you are destined to do, what you are destined to bring into this world. We're going to use the star tarot for this. And we're going to gain some insight, some clarity as to who you are meant to be. Right. So, oh wow. These cards are flying today. Interesting. All right, so let me shuffle again. So spirit, who is this person meant to be in this world? Who are they meant to be? Okay. Who are they meant to be? Nice cards here. Uh, so we've got the very first card out. It's a very powerful one. So the very first card out um, is the Wheel of Fortune. And this is such an inviting, beautiful card, right? Anytime we get um, the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, you know, what this card is essentially telling you is that you, are you were brought into this world to experience the best part of it. Okay, this card is upright. So there's a sense of just everything lining up for you. You know, there's a sense of if you really want it, you'll get it, right? Um, there's a sense of just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful manifestation energy here. Um, so you're the kind of person that if you truly, truly want to achieve something, if you put your mind to it, if you visualize it, if you go after it, you will get it. You will, you will be favored, all right? So it's like... My goodness, there's not, there's hardly any challenges that, that, that are going to be present in your life. Um, things are just going to naturally develop for you. Again, if you are feeling in any ways uh, tormented, if you're feeling like, you know, things really aren't this way, um, this is normal. This, this is coming from a past life where you went through some very, very harsh, harsh, harsh realities. And so, you know, you're, you're healing from that. That's part of the reason why you're here, right? You're here to heal. Now, the second card uh, just kind of talks a little bit about that. So we've got the Eight of Wands here. And, you know, the Eight of Wands is the card of the body and uh, that body taking action and being inspired to move forward and, and doing what essentially in some ways is going to be beneficial for everyone and so what you have here is the symbolism of a body in a box you've got a heart right in the center of that and you've got that body and that heart uh, just being kind of zapped with these uh, with this, these lightnings and and the fact that they're being just kind of you know zapped they're being um, shocked uh, is pr it's producing a, uh, it's got a little bit of an effect right through they're producing these these beautiful stars and so what this means is that you are in this life to essentially be motivated and inspired to create something, to bring something into existence, into fruition. Um, and so you're being energized in every way. Your entire existence, your entire world, the people that you interact with, uh, you know, possibly just everyone around you from this point forward is coming into your life to add to your life, to give more to your life. And so 
that's going to produce an effect of creation, right? These beautiful stars are going to come out of you. And what that means essentially is that you're going to create something beautiful. You're going to be dynamic in every way. You're going to uh, be able to just move away from sorrow, despair, and you're going to be able to bring about something truly beautiful into the world. And, um, you know, it is artistic in nature. Um, it's going to be more satisfying to you, really. I keep saying, you know, for the world and others, but this reading, and really the reason why you're in this world is for you. All right, you, it's it's for you. I, I think that you, you have gone through some very difficult, difficult past lives, and so you're here as almost like a respite, you know, a, a sense of relaxation, a sense of peace. Um, just a, There's a strong sense here of just being completely surrounded by good energetic energy that's just going to make you feel whole again and so obviously you know if we look at um if we examine what it is to live and be in this world there's there's light there's dark right there's um there's good there's evil and so we have to go through all of these different types of experiences that kind of molds us and shapes us and gets us to through to, uh, to this life but with you it's interesting because it's almost like in, this life is designed to help you get past that darkness that you came with that um, energy of, of, of just despair and sorrow um, so you know for, for those of you that are potentially suffering from depression or anxiety or, or just just have any kind of these uh, these things this this is definitely going to be a very revealing reading uh, because it, it is a past life uh, kind of karmic event and so all right so we move to towards the next card we've got here the knight of wands knight of wands is interesting um, this is the card of the of the person that's just motivated to change their lives in the most dynamic of ways so knight of wands is in his horse He's moving forward. He is in many ways inspiring uh, other people to move forward. Um, he himself is inspired uh, to just be the best version of himself, right? So, you know, this person here is in, in every way someone who's going to persevere, who's going to be successful, who's uh, essentially going to just not stop. There's, there's a relentless kind of energy here towards success. And as you can see, the, the entire existence, uh, this this entire, this Knight of Wands is kind of like, you know, they're completely enveloped in their energy, right? You look around, you see fire everywhere. Um, so this, this, this Knight of Wands is in their element. And the fact that they're in their element allows them to persevere, allows them to move forward and to be prosperous. So yeah, it kind of speaks towards the energies that are around you. Everything is 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 designed to work for you, as opposed to against you. And we see it, we see that illustrated in the nine in the Knight of Wands. So all you really have to do, your greatest, your greatest, I would say, um, deterrent in this life is yourself, your mental state, your emotional state. It's you. Okay, it's it's not an exterior problem. It's you. It's it's what you think. Do you are you a victim? Do you have a victim mentality? Are you depressed? Why are you depressed? You know. So are, are you suffering from anxiety? Do you feel like someone's out to get you? Do you feel dispossessed? Do you feel downtrodden? More often than not, if the answer to that is yes, um, and you look deep, 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 deep into why this is, you'll find that it's not anything that's going on around you in this life. It's really just you, what you feel, what you think, what you're intuitively picking up on. And so sometimes our intuitions can be in some ways damaging because when we have past pains, past hurts, past trauma, especially from past life, past lives, that, that those experiences, they stay with you, right? In your unconscious mind. So you're kind of walking in this world, um, just kind of, you know, feeling indifferent, even though the world is trying to help you in every way and telling you move forward. You have everything at your, at your, um, at your feet. You know, all you have to do is make a decision and you'll be successful. That's it. Um, but you know, for some reason, it's like, sometimes you have trouble really understanding that. And, and, you know, you ultimately always just go back to, no, it's the world that's messed up. Um, 
So, and, and, and that's the problem, you know, the world was messed up in your past life. And so you, you have experienced a lot of pain and now you've brought it into this new existence for you that really is just here to give you everything that you didn't have before. But you, you know, some of you I feel are having a little bit of trouble um, really seeing that, really understanding that, really grasping that, right? And the reason I'm saying that is because we've got the Two of Pentacles reversed. So, Two of Pentacles reversed, uh, just, you know, everything that I just said I got from the Two of Pentacles reversed, right? Because the Two of Pentacles upright would mean that you are at this moment in complete alignment and in complete understanding of why you're here. All right, so you are, you are, you are a very well-balanced individual. You're living in the moment as opposed to the past or the present. Uh, I'm sorry, as opposed to the past or the future. You're living in the moment right now. But the fact that it's reversed tells me that some of you potentially are having trouble really understanding this. Why is it that I feel the way that I feel? Why is it that I feel this, this strong sense of just being dispossessed and people are out to get me and things are just terrible? Um, and so, you know, I think that some of you just don't see the power that you have. There's power in your words. There's power in, 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 in the decisions that you make. There's power in what you are essentially at this moment where you are right now. You are powerful. Um, some of you don't see that power. Some of you have that victim mentality. And again, it comes from past pains. It comes from past trauma. This is this is a very difficult thing to get rid of. All right? That's why one of your themes in this life is healing. You're here to heal from all of that past trauma, all of that past pain. Um, and it is challenging, you know, it's, it's extremely challenging because this is like your existence. This is what you feel right now and you don't even know why, right? So you try and find excuses and you try and find the reason to why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. So you you look towards other people. It's like, oh, that, that person's mean to me. That person doesn't like me for whatever reason. So it's their fault. This world's messed up. Um, that is an unconscious thing that you are doing, right? That's, that comes from a different life that you lived. Um, not the reality of today, or you look at systems, or you, you look at processes, and you look at society as a whole, and you say, um, society's working against me. It's here to just um, destroy me in some ways. But that's not really true. That was the past. It's not the truth of what you're living now. So, you know, my goodness. So, you know, and the reason I say my goodness is just because I, I feel the uh, the desperation for some of you. I really do. I feel the desperation, um, and, and it's difficult. It is very difficult, but I, you know, you will overcome. That's the reason you're here. Uh, you will be successful. You will have a lot of beautiful, beautiful things that will happen to you. Uh, you're going to have a lot of realizations. You know, your soul group is going to guide you through many troubles, right? So that we can't forget the wheel of fortune, right? There's a reason why there's a wheel of fortune here, because you're destined to live life in the most beautiful of ways, with beautiful experience and beautiful people, and um, an energy of just happiness as opposed to sorrow. So your needs will be met, um, you know, and, and you will at some point be able to kind of balance that out, right? Instead of having this uh, two of pentacles reversed, you're going to um, have it upright, which is the ultimate form of balance in your life. Um, it will happen for you, so that's definitely something beautiful to look forward to. Uh, let's throw some more oracle cards, right? Let's see what else we can get. I'm going to throw a card from the Earthcraft. This is uh, another new deck. Uh, let me show you the box. Earthcraft uh, by Juliet Diaz. So we're going to throw just one card, and we're going to see what the message there is. Staying on topic here. Let's see. All right, so we've got plant seeds. Look at that. That's beautiful. Um, so you've got plant seeds. All right, and this is this is in in every way gorgeous, beautiful, and and the reason why is because every seed that you plant in this life, it's going to grow into a beautiful, beautiful tree. All right, so this is a card that's telling you that you are right now in fertile soil. Okay, you weren't before. Before you were in some sand that that was terrible. All right, uh, uh, you were you 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 were you uh, unfortunately before you were not anywhere near fertile soil, but now you are in fertile soil. So any seed that you plant in that soil, if you water it accordingly, if you give it time, if you're patient, 
it's going to grow into a beautiful tree that's going to sustain you all right so that's that's a beautiful message here right next to the wheel of fortune so you know that is that is that is it that is essentially why you're here anything that you touch anything that you do anything that you envision will prosper uh it's just it's of, of course you know we live in a physical world so you're going to need to actually take some actions you're going to need to um grow as a person to understand exactly what that means but you will do it all right you have the capacity you will do it so let's go ahead and keep throwing some oracle cards i'm gonna throw a card from the elemental oracle and show you the box the elemental oracle by stacy demarco i'm just gonna throw one card and see what else we get shuffle 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 and here we are snow okay so you've got here snow and uh, the key word with snow is silence 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 and this is just a perfect representation of why you are here right so you've um, you've come out of the snow and it's funny that we have a bunny right there because the bunny is a symbol of luck it's a symbol of just um, prosperity uh, so that's not to be overlooked but really when you look at this snow and you have this keyword silence what you're essentially being told here is that you are in many ways getting through some harshness you are getting through uh, some pain and um, it's cold and it's difficult uh, but you will be successful you will have success uh, if you really just put your mind to it um, if you really understand uh, what's going on around you you will have optimal optimal success because everything around you is geared towards your success all right so let's go ahead and throw a card from the sacred forest let me show you the box this is from uh, dennis lynn okay the sacred forest let's see what we get here shuffle 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 wisdom okay interesting so wisdom um there's definitely with this card uh more information on what i said before right gaining understanding knowledge growing um so you are in many ways someone who is very wise all right so i think that some one of the reasons why you chose their, your past life and one of the reasons why you've gone through such harshness in the past is because you chose that right that's when you really grow that's when your spirit that's when your soul just really transforms immensely when you go through harsh harsh experiences harsh realities and you have to then build yourself up again and you have to just uh, try and put the pieces together again that's where true growth takes place and so in past lives you've chosen those harsh lives because you've wanted to grow you've wanted to to grow in in just a very abundant way but you have to take a bit of a, a respite right you have to take a bit of a breather so i feel like that for, for many of you this life is a breather this life is the life where you kind of learn to overcome that pain it's all a part of the process you you go through that harshness and then now you come into this life with that same harshness that same feeling and now the conditions are perfect for you to heal from that and that's where essentially the growth takes place so you are here to build wisdom uh, for whatever ultimate project you have in, in, in another reality, in another time, in another existence, uh, there is an ultimate goal and this is really just a step. This life is a step towards obtaining that goal. Alright, so we're going to keep it going. I'm going to throw a card from, try to decide. Uh, yeah, we're going to throw a card from the Making Magic. Let's see if we can get a little more understanding with the Making Magic card. So here's the box. This is from the Pure Magic by Andres and Grazia. Let's go ahead and throw just one card. And Closing Circle, interesting. All right, so let's take a look at this. Closing Circle, Pure Intent, Sacred Doors, Timing Experience. I mean, my goodness these four key words are 
the totality. This is like, and the funny thing is that this is the last card that I'm going to throw, and it's like a recap of everything that we just talked about. It's a confirmation, right? So I'm going to give you a small little recap. The first key word, pure intent. You chose this life. You chose the harsh realities that you went through in a past life. And you're doing this to gain wisdom and understanding. Sacred doors. There are going to be many opportunities that are going to be presented to you. And they're going to seem like uh, almost otherworldly, divine. It's like you're not going to... You're not going to be able to look at it and say, okay, what, you know, this is because of my merit or this is because of something that I didn't know. Sometimes you're going to get breaks in this life that are going to seem otherworldly. They're going to seem divine. And they are. Those are sacred doors that are going to be presented to you in this life for you to open and go through. Timing. So timing is everything in this life. All right. Um, you know, you have to view it as I gained some kind of understanding. So now I'm ready for what's next in this life. Uh, so, you know, it's it's also a, uh, a message for you to keep going, keep pushing forward, uh, keep trying to be a better person, try and overcome that anxiety, try and overcome that depression, try and overcome any kind of limiting belief that keeps you in a state of depression or keeps you in a state of, not depression, but keeps you in a state of victimhood, right? Try and overcome these things. Try and see from a clear mind. Try and see how much power you have. You have power, so try and find out how you're giving that power away. Uh, once you realize how much power you truly have, how, how much power your voice has, um, you're going to be able to, in some ways, progress forward. So the last key word is experience. You are going to find many, many different, um, many different opportunities to be something more than what you are right now. So uh, this is the life of growth for you. Right. This is the life of satisfaction. This is the life of true fortune. Um, but it really depends on you. You have to plant those seeds. Right? You have to plant those seeds. So that is what I see here. Group number one. I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a like. Hit the notification bell as well. And also uh, support me on Patreon Seekers. Uh, again, you'll be entered for a chance to win uh, a free private reading with me. Um, every month I do those ra that raffle. Um, you can join me on Patreon. The price is just $5 a month. And you'll have access to weekly readings that you're not going to see on this channel. They're, it's exclusive to my patrons. Uh, I do weekly readings. You know, what's next? Weekly readings. Uh, so what's going to happen this week? Like That's what I do every single Saturday. I release um, one of those videos. So if you're interested in that, um, definitely go ahead and uh, subscribe uh, or join me become a patron I mean I'm gonna leave the link down below also I'm starting to prioritize new comments I'm gonna read your comments I'm gonna write back so I want you seekers to write me all right I want to know what this um, essentially what you thought about this reading um, if there's uh, anything that really touched you if you felt like uh, you know this message was for you or if it wasn't if you didn't feel it was for you then I want to know too. So let me know what your experience was. Let me know if you have any ideas, anything. I just want to talk to you seekers. I will respond to your comments. I guarantee you, if you write a comment, I will respond. I will read it and I will respond. So go ahead and do that for me. Uh, I want to connect with you on a deeper level. So reach out. I want to thank you once again. I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye. Welcome group number two to today's pick a card tarot reading uh, Where we're gonna try and figure out who you are meant to be in this life Now before we get started if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe uh, Hit the notification bell. I am going to provide you with many more pick a card tarot readings just like this one um, Very soon, so I don't want you to miss those give this video a like as soon as you can um, and also, don't forget to support me on Patreon for exclusive content. All right. So, Seekers, in front of you, you have two Oracle cards. Now, these are new Oracle cards. They're going to represent the theme, essentially, of what you are meant to be. So, we're going to start with the Magic of the Unicorns. Let me show you the box. This is from uh, Diana Cooper, her, her newest deck. Let's see what we have here. Soul healing, all right. 
align with your essence see your true colors my oh my this is a beautiful powerful card um so you know it speaks a little bit about essentially the the reason that you're here it this card is it kind of resonates very closely with group number one because group number one had a, had had a lot of healing going on and um you know now here in group two it's kind of carried on here so one of the very important reasons why you're here and who you are meant to be um, essentially is someone who overcomes past pain and past uh, karma, very negative energies, a very negative experience that you might have been privy to in a past life. So you're here to heal from that, to move away from that, to come to some kind of realization and um, to really figure out just how powerful you can be and, and how powerful you are. Um, let's go ahead and reveal the second card that second card is from the self love oracle another new oracle deck by janet Choi. so we're going to go ahead and reveal this card and look at this listen to feedback all right so the message here nothing can make you feel small unless you allow it what you take from feedback and how you respond is entirely within your control beautiful very interesting so when I look at these two cards and we're gonna throw some tarot now and try to get more you know get more information here but when I look at these two cards I'm getting this feeling of uh, of a soul that's very powerful of someone who is essentially in many ways very 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 powerful and when I mean powerful, I mean manifestation energy. Uh, you essentially can create the world that you want for yourself. The only thing that you have to do is be diligently and in some ways be trusting, right? So I think that one of the reasons why you're here um, is to trust people more, which is why you've got this listen to feedback. So in a past life, potentially you were betrayed backstabbed and that really shaped that reality for you it really just um, maybe even derailed that uh, existence or I don't want to use derail because you know every everything that we're previewed to essentially molds us into something completely new and we learn from that but it really did it really did um, cast doubt um, it really did mold you in a way where now you're kind of guarding that in this life. So there's this almost unconscious uh, way of acting in this life where you're very mistrusting of people. And potentially you think that people are, you know, some ways they're, they, they, they're out to harm you and they're out to maybe do something bad. So sometimes you don't really listen to what people say. Uh, you rely on yourself way, way, way too much. And um, there is definitely merit to that. You know, that is definitely something that um, is important. But if it's something that you're constantly doing without thinking, if it's just a, you know, a reaction or, or just the way that you are with everyone, it can um, it can speak towards a person that's a bit unbalanced. And so this unbalance comes from that past life. And so one of the things that you are here to do is to really, really, really start trusting people more to listen to people listen to what they have to say listen to what they have to give um you know not look at someone and say that person is dumb or insignificant or that person is not going to assist me in any way i know best right so listening to that feedback um and for some reason you know i think one of the reasons why you, you you're untrusting and you don't really listen to people all that much it's it's really being it's it kind of is you know told to us here right nothing can make you feel small so in some ways you feel small uh with other people maybe you know i don't know maybe this is something that potentially you you unfortunately were privy to in that past life where you were made to feel small or you felt small or you were in some ways just um told that you were small or incapable or unable and so now that uh, someone took your power away from you in such a grand, horrifying fashion, now you are in many ways applying that same experience to every interaction with every person. And so, you know, one of the lessons that you're here to learn 
uh, and, and really I, I wouldn't call it a lesson, I'd say healing. One of the things that you're here to heal from is this energy of untrusting. And, uh, you know, you just don't trust people. Uh, you don't want to listen to them. You believe a little too much in, in what you have to say, ultimately. Um, so there is definitely something to be said about that. Um, and so I feel that you, group number two, you're someone that is very powerful. Uh, you can manifest anything that you want to. So if you make a decision on something, say you want a job or you want to move towards some kind of new reality, whatever that may be, uh, you will be successful at it if you're diligent, um, if you do what's necessary, just the bare minimums, you will have that success. You know you know where value is, so you, you pursue that value. You want success and you can obtain that success no matter what. You're diligent, you're capable, you're able, and you're ready. Uh, the only thing that I'm seeing here that potentially is a bit of a, of a problem is the fact that you rely on yourself way, way, way too much. You don't trust in people uh, to the point that you might think that people might uh, wish you harm. And that's not true. Not everyone wishes you harm. So let's throw some tarot and see if we can get more information on um, why you're here and who you are meant to be. Let's take a look. Who are you meant to be? All right, so you've got some interesting cards here. Um, you've got uh, Judgment, you've got the King of Swords reversed, Judgment reversed, Three of Cups upright, Two of Swords reversed as well. So interesting cards, very interesting. And um, you know, if we look at these and we try and and um, and we try to look at the number sixteen soul healing and number twenty six listen to feedback and, and and tie it into these other cards, I am seeing this this uh, this energy of not wanting to yield to anyone else's desires. Uh, maybe in some ways being a bit impatient. I do see that you've been potentially in a past life hurt by a man. You know, this man really, really did a number on you. Um, potentially used their words for to put you down, to bring you down, to hurt you, um, to hurt your mind, to hurt your, your self-esteem, right? The way that you view yourself. And so in many ways, maybe uh, you sometimes feel like there's two versions of you. Um, and that is something that you are going to, to overcome in this life. I feel it's what you're here to do. You're here to, it's funny, but man, group number one is so similar to this one that it feels like the exact same rating. Um, but it's very, very similar to this one. And so what we have here is this, uh, what I feel is this man that might have hurt you in a past life. Uh, this person used their words for, for malignant purposes. Uh, this could be a father figure. Um, or it could just represent society as a whole, right? And so this is like torment, mental torment, words being used against you, laws being created to uh, keep you down, harm you, uh, you know. So, you know, this energy is like something that you're healing from, right? We go right back into the uh, number 16, soul healing, align with your essence, see your true colors. So you are healing from this. You're healing from... Um, people making you feel inferior, making you feel small. And quite literally, we have those keywords here with listen to feedback, feeling small. So you come from a past life of feeling like you are insignificant. And now you're in this life and, you know, you have that unconsciously uh, just, you know, you, it's, it, it's an unconscious thing. So you're kind of going through life uh, finding and, um, you know, interacting with people and you know, you just, it's hard for you to trust. It's hard for you to see why they want to help you. And I think it's even worse with men, okay? It's even worse with men uh, because it was, I feel, uh, a very kind of patriarchal kind of um, society that you lived in before. And so now here it's like, you know, when it comes to interacting with men, it's very difficult for you uh, because of, of just past pains, past hurts and feeling insignificant. Um, this is something that needs to be corrected. Uh, this is definitely something that you are here to correct, that you are here to fix. Uh, this is 100% something that um, 
is going to to assist you in in your in your in your process as you move forward. Um, we we have that divided mind here. This is the perfect representation of a divided mind, not being able to kind of see clearly, not understanding why certain things happen, uh, just unfortunately not truly comprehending why you feel the way you feel, why you're drawn to certain things, um, and it's it's an unconscious uh, thought process. It's an unconscious. Um, almost decision that you're that you're that you're that you are enacting and so you know you're kind of walking through life at this moment with this reality that might not be complete it might not be based on anything factual and it's it's been very difficult for you so the advice is to listen to be silent uh, to stop that judgmental voice that um, it's always constantly judging things and judging people, judging situations. Um, one of the lessons that you are really going to learn is to just just be in this life. Just be. Stop judging people. Stop judging situations. Stop judging organizations. Stop judging society. Just stop judging. And so when that's a very difficult lesson to learn. Um, because one of the worst things, one of the one of the things that we don't want to do is release control, right? We, you know, it's very hard to just go with the flow, and accept and see, and instead of just reacting to everything and thinking that we need to react to it, just experiencing it and learning from it, and really just examining it with a critical eye and spirit, but at the same time not uh, just being reactionary to it. Um, just experiencing it. And so that's what's going to ultimately bring you happiness and joy and contentment. So you've got here the Three of Cups. So this is really uh, the energies that are with you in this life. You are here to celebrate. You're here to have fun. You're here to, to uh, just be happy with people around you, to have this celebratory kind of energy. And it's the hardest thing for you to do because you simply cannot forgive what has happened to you in a past life. And so even though the energies around you are those of celebration, of joy, of contentment, yes, you know, a bit of work, um, you know, there's things that you have to do and overcome in this physical world of ours. But generally speaking, there's a lot of happiness and joy and contentment all around you that you can tap into, but you're not allowing it to happen. You're just not grasping it. You're not seeing it. You're not uh, embodying that happiness and that joy. And I feel it's because you're still fighting against uh, this uh, existence that really isn't a part of this world. It was a part of a different world. And you're fighting it, right? Uh, and you're constantly going against it. And you're constantly trying to change something that has already changed in some ways. Uh, so, you know, it's important for you to learn this lesson because if you don't, then you're always going to be fighting against an idea as opposed to a reality. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to just, you know, let yourself be manipulated to the point where it's almost like you see evil and you see distrust and you see pain and suffering everywhere. And you're constantly almost reminded that you are small and that you are inferior. And again, you are drawn to this because that's how you felt in a past life. So you will always be drawn to it. You know, anytime you feel any, you see any kind of injustice, any, it's something that really just, um, you know, emotionally just brings you to your knees um, and you don't really know why it's because of that past experience. You know, it's like you're reliving that again. And so that's not the reality of this time. Um, so one of the lessons that you have to learn is that you can't bring that existence into this reality. Um, that that was in the past. And, and one of the reasons why you chose to, to live through that experience is to learn, to grow, to expand, to to be able to essentially become someone totally new, you know, with, with different experiences. And so now that you're in this life, you are in some ways trying to heal from that, you know, and that's that, that's the process of growth. Uh, and this is what's going to lead you towards where you have decided that you want to be. So there's a, there's a big, there's a plan, right? That you've orchestrated. And this life is a small step towards that plan. So there was a harsh reality that you had to go through in a past life. Now that you've reincarnated and you're here in this life, you're healing. This is like a, a respite. This is a, a place where you are able to just take a deep breath and reassess. And then from here, you move on to another uh, experience. Um, 
but yeah in this life right now this is where you start to celebrate this is where you start to to have fun this is where you start to just let go to observe to learn why you think the way that you think to learn why uh, you feel the way that you feel sometimes um, and to really learn to silence that uh, that judgmental voice that's constantly looking and uh, and trying to find harm and to try and find evil where it doesn't really exist okay so very interesting um, let's go ahead and throw some Oracle cards and let's see what what else we can uncover here so we're gonna start with the sacred force I'm gonna show you the box this is from Dennis Lynn so we're gonna go ahead and throw just one sacred force card and we're gonna see what else we can learn from who you are meant to be trust look at this I mean it doesn't get any clearer than that right so now we have a confirmation of this uh, trust all right crystal clear and literally you know we have crystal there so crystal cave as well let me see if this can okay crystal crystal cave trust all right so this is definitely a very important lesson for you in this life trust 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 learn to trust people uh, intuitively uh, just try and just examine what people are trying to do you know you have the ability you have the magic you have the you have that kind of third eye where you can identify if someone is really genuinely trying to help you or not but unfortunately because of this past life pain and hurt you know you you're just programmed to just not listen that's it you listen to yourself and that's it you believe in yourself you trust in yourself you don't trust in anybody else and that is how you're happy and so potentially it might um, it might have worked for a while but it's not gonna work for the rest of your life and so this is definitely something that you are here to heal from you have to become more trusting more open um, and for those of you that potentially feel even even worse for men uh that's something that really 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 is like coming through in this reading the this this almost disdain or really truly a, a big mistrust for the divine male that is something that um really truly comes from a past life because in that past life maybe there was some kind of patriarchal system where you know the there was a lot of oppression of women and potentially you were a woman in that life as well and so you've brought that pain into this existence into this reality and um, again you're fighting against um, a, a system that really isn't truly um, as powerful as it once was and it's really it's in some ways it's hindering you so be more trusting be more trusting with the energies around you be more trusting with what's going on uh, just be more available, more able. Learn and understand that you have power. You are powerful. Your voice is powerful. All you have to do is, is speak up. Um, speak up and, and really say what you want to say. And uh, you'll be surprised at just how powerful your voice is in this existence. All right, but you must trust. All right, so let's go ahead and throw uh, an Earthcraft Oracle. Let me show you the box. So this is from uh, Danielle Budu Fortune, and uh, we're gonna throw just one card. Let's see what else we can pick up here. Run with wolves. All right, I like that. I like that. Run with wolves. So there's some very deep symbolism here. Um, and, and I think the reason why we're getting this to run with the wolves is because you are in some ways fearful. I think one of the reasons why you're so, um, why you're guarding uh, so much and why you're maybe a bit judgmental to the point where you can't um, silence that inner critic and you can't silence that voice that's constantly like, you know, looking around and trying to find fault or it's because you're in some ways afraid to become evil you're in some ways afraid to become the horror that you lived through in that past life and so on, in an unconscious uh reality you're kind of you know guarding against that and so you're being told to let loose you're being told to run with the wolves right embrace the situations around you embrace the energies around you you're being offered something examine it uh, go ahead and be free so there is in some ways uh, uh, limitations here you are holding yourself back in some areas um, 
This is now trying to give a little more insight into what you're currently going through. You were meant to be free, wild, and uh, just let, this is, this is the energy of just letting loose completely, right? So you were meant to be completely free, to do whatever you, you wish, right? So what makes you happy? Uh, what uh, makes you celebrate, right? You're going to have success. And so the, the, this is difficult because it's like, potentially, you know, you are in a job that you dislike, right? Um, so how do you get away from that job that you dislike? If you're meant to run with the wolves, if you're meant to be free, if you're meant to have these things, if you're meant to be completely happy and prosperous, well, there that's where the true work comes in. That's where true mastery of this life comes in. So it's important for you to sit down and real and, and ask yourself, what do I want my life to look like? Visualize that thing and understand that whatever you visualize, whatever you desire truly will be made manifest in your life. So if you are unhappy with an area of your life and you want to release that, all you have to do is to make the decision and then the next morning make sure that you're working and taking steps towards that. And the beautiful part is that you will get breaks along the way. Once you make the decision to live a certain way and do a certain something, you're going to get breaks along the way. You're going to have portals open up for you that are going to essentially move you forward instead of backwards. And so, you know, many times we look at things that we want to achieve and accomplish. And, uh, you know, unfortunately we look at it from a distance and we say, my goodness, that's a long, long climb. That's a big mountain that I have to climb. I'm going to get tired. I'm going to get hungry in that mountain that I have to climb. It's going to be difficult. So you know what? I don't think I'm going to do it, but you in this life are going to receive breaks. And so that climb may look very daunting, uh, but, you're going to, in many ways, uh, experience quick successes along the way. You're going to experience good fortune along the way. And so it's going to make that climb up to the mountain a lot easier than for than, than it would be for other people. So never, never look at the size of the climb and how difficult it is. Um, just look at the prize. What do you want? Because it's going to be much easier to obtain. All right, so, uh, and, and you know, we go right back to the trust, right? So obviously a lot of things that are going to be made available to you are gonna come from people. And so if you are not trusting, if you aren't open, if you aren't uh, someone that's in some ways collaborative, then you're gonna miss out on those opportunities. You're going to, in, in many ways, not get those breaks. And so it's gonna be difficult for you to be able to climb that mountain. So you are meant to have success in this life. You are meant to have a life of celebration. You are meant to have a life of joy and prosperity. You are meant to have a life where it's freeing as opposed to uh, what I'm seeing here with this Two of Swords reversed and this King of Swords reversed, uh, which is in many ways restrictive and it's, it's an internal it's like an existential crisis. It's like a mental crisis that you are almost put yourself in. It's like you lock yourself in a box and you don't want to go out, come out, because uh, you're in some ways fearful of what might happen or what might occur. But if you knew just the beautiful, beautiful, powerful energy that's around you, that's telling you go and run and be free because all of your needs are going to be met. You just have to try and be as free and happy as you possibly can be. If you knew how much of that energy is around you, you wouldn't be fearful and you wouldn't lock yourself in a little box. And, um, you know, there's definitely, definitely um, an energy here of expansion if only you're able to just grab it, tap into it. So let's go ahead and throw another Oracle card. This is from the uh, Elemental Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. So we're gonna throw just one of these cards and let's see what what else we can um, we can draw from from this reading. Let's see. Spirit help us out here. Life, breathe. I mean, my goodness. Uh, so yeah, I mean the cards are, are are aligning beautifully. Okay, the message is now. Uh, 
we're, we're focusing in, it's like we're zeroing in on, on, a, on a very important message for you that you need to take away from this reading. So you've got here life, right? breathe, and you've got the an actual representation of running with the wolves and just celebrating and being free and trusting, right? You've got a woman that is completely just um, surrendered, you know, in, in every way, right? She's not worried about how her hair looks. She's not worried about her looks. She's not worried about um, who's going to harm her. This is a woman that is emotionally stable, mentally open. Um, this is a person that is uh, taking in instead of just, uh, you know, uh, you know, uttering words of nonsense or words of mistrust. She's taking all experiences in. Uh, she intuitively knows what to do and what not to do. This is a woman that's truly free right here in this card. And the key words, life, breathe. I mean, it's gorgeous because it's like, it's a reminder that um, in order for you to be able to, to experience life, you have to breathe. You have to allow that breath of fresh air in, right? You have to allow that breath of fresh air uh, to just um, keep you alive. Sometimes we don't do that. Sometimes uh, in life we, we're not trusting. We don't want to allow any kind of new experiences in. We don't want to allow uh, people into our lives. And so, you know, in many ways it, it's, uh, it's needed in order to be able to experience the true, true, beautiful essence of life and what it has to offer you. So group number two, you know, you are in many ways here to, to be completely free to do what you what you want to do uh, but for some reason you have restricted yourself to this um, this this is this is something that might you know for some of you and this is for a small minority of you for some of you I'm seeing that um, you've bound yourself to old dogmatic principles uh, almost religious principles that uh, would seek to not be open or not be inclusive or not be accepting but essentially what it does is that it, it locks you up in a box and it keeps the person there um, mentally so I feel that again you know this is a societal thing this is something that that comes from a past past um, life and you've brought it into this one and so you have to break the chains free you have to break yourself free of this kind of limiting mentality, this dogmatic mentality. Again, that is for a small portion of you, not everyone. Uh, but I, I do see that for some of you. Again, if it doesn't make you celebrate, if it doesn't make you be feel joy and contentment and completely happy, then you are not running with the wolves. You're not free. You're not essentially running with the beautiful colors of the rainbow, right? Colors of the wind. What's well, happened to some Pocahontas symbolism here, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you're you're made, you're you were meant to to be completely free and happy, and so it's all entirely within your control. You just have to make the decision. All right, so let's see what magical energies you can tap into to make this happen, to bring you into alignment. For that, we're going to go ahead and use the Pure Magic Oracle by Andres and Grazia. Uh, we're going to shuffle and we're just going to throw one card. Let's see. Oh my, look at that. You've got literally opening circle. That is amazing. So opening circle, protection, ritual, lesson, simplicity. Interesting, interesting uh, keywords there. So, and you've got here also a crow, which is for me a symbol of uh, death and rebirth and uh, new beginnings from you know getting rid of something that's not serving you but anyways protection so the first thing that you have to realize and understand you are protected all right so there's this energy of in many ways shielding and guarding against new ideas uh, shielding and guarding against uh, being free being able being alive because maybe you don't feel protected so you run towards that protection you are protected. There's this energy around you. There's an armor that's protecting you, an armor of gold that's essentially going to keep you from you falling down traps. And, you know, there is an intuition in you that's going to tell you and warn you right before you fall into a trap. So you are in many ways protected from evil, from darkness. So you can go out and do what you want to do. 
experience what you want to experience. Now, the second card here is ritual. You need to find a pattern that works for you. You need to find a routine that works for you, that keeps you going, that keeps you motivated. Also, there is, in, if you are a person that actually practices magic, um, or you're thinking of, of delving into that, there is, uh, uh, there is definitely something there for you. I feel that if you can tap into that magic, if you can, if you can start some kind of ritual for yourself, I think that there's, there's um, an expansive kind of magic there that's going to set you free from things. And then we have lessons. So you're going to obviously learn uh, many lessons in this life. You're here to uh, pick up on certain things. And, you know, unfortunately, if you're not trusting, if you're not more open, if you don't surrender to the process of life, uh, it's going to be very hard for you to learn those lessons. And also simplicity. Keep it simple. You don't have to do anything too drastic. Just it starts with a very simple approach. And, you know, that simplicity can simply be instead of judging people, I'm going to listen to them. Instead of just judging certain situations, I'm going to try and see every single side or understand every single point of view. I'm going to try and understand different points of views. Um, and then once you start doing that, you're going to realize that no one's right about anything. <laughs> You know, everything is and nothing, everything is just really an opinion. Most things are just opinions. And so um, how are you going to react to those things? How are you going to react uh, to certain experiences? You know, that's definitely that's definitely something to keep in mind here. So opening circle. All right. So group number two, that is what I see. I hope you enjoy this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the notification bell. I have many more pick a card readings like this coming for you very soon. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, give the video a like. And also uh, don't forget to support me on Patreon, become a patron. Uh, for $5 a month, you can unlock weekly readings that I do. Uh, like, you know, weekly prediction readings, what's coming next and for this week. I, I, I release those every single Saturday exclusively for patrons. Also, I am doing a raffle uh, where you can win a free private reading with me. Uh, and I do that raffle every single month. So that's for patrons only. And um, obviously, you'll be helping me. You'll be helping me, uh, you know, bring those vid these videos to, uh, into creation. Uh, and, and I know these videos help many people. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Seekers, for your, your help. Uh, thank you for just being present, your beautiful words. Um, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. I am prioritizing new comments. So if you write a comment, I am going to respond. I'm going to read it and I'm going to respond. I guarantee you I will do that. And so go ahead and write a comment. Let me know what you thought. And if you have any ideas, I want to hear those. Any pick a card, tarot reading ideas, I want to hear those. Leave them below in the comment section. But really, let me know what you thought about this reading. If you liked it, if you would have liked to have seen something else, whatever. I want to hear from you, Seekers. I want to connect with every single one of you. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I wish every single person watching this uh, just a, a wonderful time wherever you are. And bye-bye. Welcome group number three to today's pick a card tarot reading where we will try and uh, provide information on who you are meant to be in this life. Now before we get started, just a quick reminder, subscribe to those that haven't subscribed for more future pick a card tarot readings like this one. Um, also give this video a like when you can and don't forget to support me on Patreon so that you can unlock many uh, future benefits and pick a cards as well there. All right, so let's get started, Seekers. In front of you, you have two Oracle cards. These Oracle cards are going to represent the theme of today's reading. We're going to start with uh, unveiling the Diana Cooper one, The Magic of the Unicorns. This is a new deck by Diana Cooper. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have. Oh, wow. Look at that. Cocoon of white light. Rest in perfect love. Understand oneness. That is gorgeous. So, you know, the very first card out is one of transformation. It's one of complete acceptance. It's one of learning uh, essentially that you are a part of something truly great and dynamic. And um, that's beautiful. Let's go ahead and unveil the other card and then 
I'll give you the uh, the interpretation. Uh, so the other card is from the Self Love Oracle. All right, this is from uh, Janet Chui. Another new uh, Oracle deck just came out. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have here. All right, you got exercise gratitude. Everyone is a co is a co creator in this shared experience of life. Gratitude for all things overcomes our resistance to challenge and spurs our growth. Wow, beautiful message. All right, so group number three, you are a creator. You came into this world to create, um, to, to build. Uh, this can be for those of you that are interested in maybe, you know, speaking or showing that creative uh process through art you know this could very much be art it could very much just be you creating uh some kind of business or company or something that essentially you feel like has the ability to transform others to be able to kind of add to this collective transformation so you are very much here to transform something you know it it could this can take this can take form in, in, in many, or it can take shape in many different uh, ways. So you can be a, a leader of some kind of company, or you can be a leader of some kind of organization. You were meant to transform people. Uh, so I feel like in many ways, a lot of you might be light workers. Um, a lot of you might be uh, people that are here to just bring this earth and bring this kind of reality that we have right now you're here to bring this into the next into the next space into the next reality and so it's almost like you're here to shine some kind of light and that light is a light of transformation you're here to shine light on challenges you're here to shine light on any kind of resistance um, to change and so the fact that you're shining light on these things bring this energy into 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 existence into people's lives uh so in many ways you are you're someone who's very transformative let's throw some tarot let's see what else we can unveil with this tarot who are you meant to be we're going to use the star tarot to figure that out let's reveal more information with this All right, so the first card out. All right, here we are. So the first card out was the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Let's see. So we're going to keep shuffling. Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, wow. All right. I like uh, I like your cards. I really do. This is this is awesome. Um, all right. So we start with the two of pentacles um, upright. And what the two of pentacles is talking about is bringing balance, bringing balance to the world. Um, you know, when you look at this card, you can immediately see right any any any, any way you, you slice and dice it. It's just it's the card of balance. And so, you know, the um, the, uh, the traditional illustration of the Two of Pentacles is uh, a woman who is trying to balance herself and there's, you know, rough to rough waters behind her. Uh, this one is a bit different, but, you know, the message of the Two of Pentacles really is that you're, you're trying to bring balance to some area of your life. And so the fact that we've got you now here as someone who is meant to bring balance to the world essentially what what i see is that your message is going to in some ways heal people from some kind of radicalization so you know some people they get radicalized with ideas and they go to extremes that extreme turns to hate and so in some ways you're here to kind of quell that you know you're here to end that and you're going to do this through your art. You're going to do this through uh, your ex the the you know your expression, how you express yourself. And so, 
in many ways, you're here to uplift people, to motivate them to look forward, right? So we've got the Knight of Wands, but it came out reversed. And so that's interesting, right? Because the Knight of Wands is the card of the warrior that moves forward very dynamically, very powerfully, right? The, the Knight of Wands isn't stopped by by anything. No, no situation will keep this Knight of Wands down. And so the fact that it's reversed means that there is something going on in this Knight of Wands life that's keeping him down, that's not uh, helping this uh, person move forward into being the greatest version of themselves. So in, in some ways, you know, this could represent you, but ultimately I feel like this Knight of Wands represents the people that you're going to interact with, the people that you're going to touch, the people that are going to be around you, right? So I, I feel like in this life you're going to attract a lot of these Knight of Wands reversed, a lot of people that are just walking around life lackluster, a lot of people that are walking around life with uh, almost this desire to just give up, right? Knight of Wands reversed is essentially the warrior that has been stretched a bit too thin, and so they, they, they're they done fighting. They don't want to fight anymore. Could be from a sense of loss, a sense of despair. Uh, they simply just can't find their way, so they're going to come to you. They're drawn to you. They're drawn to your magic. They're drawn to you, uh, and they want to receive from you your healing. So there's a healing kind of light that you are offering to these people. Um, there's this healing kind of energy that just, you know, drips out of you, just exudes out of you, you know, and so people are able to kind of identify that. They're able to take from you and um, essentially reach a place of balance, right? We've got here two cards that represent balance, and that's truly something to consider right two of pentacles balance now you've got the justice card so the justice card is even more important because this is a major arcana so this is a major 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 um uh staple in your life this is something that you have you see, that you have come here to do to fulfill i mean this is your main main mission this is your main purpose right so you are here to bring this very very strong sense of karmic justice into people's lives but it goes further than than karmic justice so really what it is is you're able to help people reach a place of uh complete and utter connection with source and so that's what I feel personally is the best thing that anyone can anyone can can do in order to reach a place of balance to connect with source. So you're kind of helping people reach that, right? And um, you know, people ultimately they end up connecting with source in their own way, uh, in, in, in with with what they choose to do and, and what they're choosing to just um, pursue. But you're going to help them do that. You're going to help people reach that place. Uh, they're a place of contentment, a place of fulfillment. You're going to offer guidance in some ways. Now, you know, this card, the, the second card that we got here, right? The Exercise Gratitude is a very interesting card. I feel like this card is confirming that not only are you a creator, but that you are being helped in a very dynamic kind of way. I think that your purpose is aligned with a lot of different spirit guides that are working behind the scenes to help you move forward. And so, you know, in some ways, your spirit team, your group is pulling a lot of strings to make sure that you are able to touch and reach as many people as possible. Uh, there's 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 things working in the background that potentially you have no idea about or you don't feel. Maybe some of you are a little more advanced and you do feel it. You've seen it. You've experienced it. Um, you you've seen the faces. You've seen the numbers of the people that are essentially uh, receiving from you. You've seen how you've motivated them. How they've been able to move forward out of darkness into into some kind of uh, into an area of almost light and an understanding and fruition of, of, of and just, you know, a place of, of resourcefulness, right? You've been able to see that progress in their lives. And so with the five of cups here, I feel like these nine of wands that come to you, uh, and uh, one of the reasons why they are almost downtrodden, dispossessed, and filled with despair is because they are nihilistic in some ways. You know, they are going through the, these emotional troubles, emotional turbulence. Uh, this is 
muddy waters. These are people that have experienced sorrow, sadness, people that, are, that have a hard time uh, coming to a, a conclusion of what needs to happen in their lives for them to be successful. It's like they, you know, they look at the sorrow in front of them. They look at the at the horrors of the world, and they they just they fixate on that. They focus on that, and they don't want to keep moving forward. And so, you know, they they miss the beauty of life, right? The beauty life is always there for the grabbing. They're missing that joy that comes with that beautiful sun. They're missing the life and the forgiveness and the connection with source that comes with the rainbow and they're missing that energy of complete transformation and beauty uh, that represents the butterflies right so you in many ways help them see this you know you bring that balance into these people's lives they're gonna these people are gonna find you they're going to find you this is your purpose you are here to to correct these people remember this is this is the ultimate oneness, right? This is this is how you understand oneness. We are all one people. We are all one body. We are all one consciousness. And so whatever you do, if you can help as many people as possible reach their fulfillment, reach their balance and their their glory, that helps the collective. It just helps humanity. It helps that oneness. Um, and so you are in many ways here to assist in that process. And I feel like you're going to touch a lot of different people. You are going to touch many people. And these people are young, young in nature, young, young in, uh, in, in their, in their, in their, I would say, in their thought process, their ways of thinking, just very young. You know, I feel like you are maybe potentially going to be involved with the youth an awful lot. The youth are just attracted to you. So this can take shape uh, or form in many different ways. Again, we started with art, right? You are an artist. You express, you express yourself through art. Now, art in the 21st century looks very differently than your, you know, your 19th century art, where really there was a, you know, you 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 would you would paint and draw, and that was your art. Well, now you can be an artist in in, in a variety of ways, right? You can have a YouTube channel, right, and and try to bring art uh, with what you're doing with your message. You can you can be an artist with your voice. You can use your voice as an art, right? So art is everything that is beautiful about the world right and so you're going to to use your art in order to help people through this process whatever art that is but um yeah i mean the 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 exercise gratitude is another card that i feel speaks a little bit about where you're at right now you're you're a manifester you're constantly thinking of manifesting you know, you're moving from, from victory to victory, glory to glory, greatness to greatness. And I think that one of your challenges in this life is going to be to stop, look around, and say, Oh my God, look at how far I've come. <laughs> look at how many people I've touched. Oh my, have I really, did I really do that? That's amazing. And so I don't think you have a lot of those moments. And uh, one of the reasons why is because you're you're a very powerful manifester. So you want to keep moving forward. It's like, what's next? What's next? What's next? That's not enough. Um, I want more, right? So the fact that um, you have that hunger and that drive is important because that's what's going to keep you striving and moving forward. That's what's going to get all of these young people to come to you. The fact that you're not going to stop and you're never satisfied. Uh, because a person that's satisfied, unfortunately, is not going to show the same kind of dynamism and, and fire than a person that's never satisfied and just wants more and more and more. So I feel like that's what's going to keep you in the light. That's what's going to keep uh, you relevant. And you need to stay relevant, okay? In order for you to fulfill your destiny and your purpose and um, what you're meant to be, you must stay relevant at all times and the only way that you stay relevant is to have that ambition to have that fire to never be satisfied with your current situation to want more that's perfectly fine uh, but it could become a bit of a problem to the point where 
you yourself might become a bit unbalanced yourself. And so in order for you to be able to reach these people and provide a good, fa a solid message of transformation of beauty, you yourself have to be in that same kind of space and that same kind of energy, a very well balanced individual filled with joy and prosperity, happy to have what you have, happy to not have what you don't have, and under and in, 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 sorry, and an understanding that everything is going to come to us in divine timing, right? So the fact that potentially sometimes you aren't able to look around and say, man, thank you. God, thank you, spirit, for this. Thank you, my beautiful spirit guides, for this. You know, the fact that sometimes you lack that um, is going to be a bit of a problem, right? It is going to be a bit of a problem because you're you're going to be prone to dissatisfaction. All right, so be careful to compare yourself to anyone else. Maybe there's a tendency there to look at that person and say, well, this person has this and I don't. And so that's probably why I don't have... Uh, the same kind of result, right? It's not true. You are special in your own way. You bring something that um, that other person will never bring or can't bring or is incapable of bringing it. So you are your own person. Uh, the only thing that you can do is compare yourself to what you were yesterday. And if you're doing better today than you were yesterday, you are taking steps forward towards greatness, towards fulfillment, towards justice card upright two of pentacles upright which both cards scream balance in the moment right so interesting let's go ahead and throw some oracle cards what do you say let's start with um the sacred forest this is from dennis lynn right, so we're gonna throw one sacred forest card and see what else we can we can we can find here purity look at this all right and you've got the unicorn this is beautiful i like this card and you've got another unicorn here. you've got two unicorns in your reading so there is definitely something there okay definitely something there purity and you've got the unicorn so when i look at this card and the fact that you've got unicorn symbolism so powerfully showing up here for you means that you have a very very strong connection to source there's magic all around you. Spirit is present. Spirit is helping you. Spirit is motivating you. Spirit is showing you what you need to do. Spirit is sending you signs constantly. Um, you are here to touch many, many people, right? So you are a conduit of magic, a conduit of, 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 of I would say, a conduit of the divine and so there's definitely power with that and there's magic with that so magic surrounds you uh you can connect to that magic very easily uh things happen to you that um, would not happen to anyone else and so there is a presence with you that's truly dynamic all right so let's go ahead and throw another oracle that now we're going to throw the the Elemental Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. So let's see what we get here with the Elemental Oracle. We're gonna shuffle first. And let's see. Richness, all right. All right, all right, look at this. So you've got a very powerful card here, right? Marine life and the car and the message here is richness. Okay. My goodness. So group number three, you have the capacity for true, true richness. And uh, what that word means is prosperity financially, right? That, that's, that's essentially what this card is telling you. And so what we see here is just this beautiful kind of oasis of tranquility and life and, uh, and beauty. And so that is what's going to be your surroundings, right? So imagine the beauty of this reflected in your home, in your space. Um, there's definitely going to be a lot of success for you, you know? So the fact that you're reaching so many people, the fact that these people are coming to you and, um, receiving from what you have to offer it will bring this energy of prosperity to your life right so and i think that that richness is only going to assist you 
and moving forward and being able to in some ways um, give more right so we go right back to the exercise gratitude and so there will be a lot of things another way that we can interpret that gratitude uh, is there's gonna be a lot of things in this life that you are going to be able to say thank you for right you're going to have a lot of success and now we've just confirmed it with the richness card in the marine life so you know there's definitely an energy here for prosperity financially uh, and, and it's just so, so, so it's magnificent to get that card and, and to see exactly how this is all going to take shape. Um, let's go ahead and throw another Oracle. Let's see what else we get. I'm going to throw the Earthcraft Oracle, all right, by Danielle Buru. Let's go ahead and take a look and see. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Spirit of the East. Interesting. So this uh, Spirit of the East card is truly beautiful. And, and so, you know, what the Spirit of the East is essentially connected to air. And um, it initiates you into this energy of clarity, an energy of truth, uh, new beginnings, the realm of ideas. Um, so, you know, when this archetype comes into your life, it is an invitation to lead with the mind instead of emotions, right? So, you know, what I what I feel that this card is essentially trying to tell you here is that in this in this life and in what you are meant to do, um, you are going to be very logical about things. You're going to, to try and follow a path, right, that makes perfect sense. But also, you are going to have a lot of wonderful, wonderful ideas. Uh, and those ideas are what are going to bring these people to you. Ultimately, it's what's going to give you that richness. Um, and ultimately, it's uh, these ideas, they come from a place of magic, which is why we've got unicorn symbolism here, right? Um, and I didn't talk about the keyword purity with the unicorn. So purity, it's like uh, this sense of almost nobility. It's the sense of just uh, being uh, untouched, unblemished. You know, this is a person that is pure, pure of heart, uh, pure of mind. So the fact that you are a pure, pure person, it, it's really what keeps you connected to, to, to source, right? And the fact that you want to help people and move people forward energetically, this is what keeps you connected to that source. This is what has uh, provided you with so much. And, um, you know, it's, it's truly beautiful. So Spirit of the East, um, logical, a lot of ideas. You're, you're going to have an abundance, abundance of ideas. And so, you know, you are kind of being told here also to be, be thankful for those ideas, exercise those ideas, um, capitalize on them because they are truly great and they do come from a divine source. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw a pure magic oracle card. All right, pure magic oracle. This is from uh, Andres and Gracia. And uh, we're just going to see what magical elements maybe you can use in order to bring these things to you. Uh, we're just going to let the cards talk. Oh, well. We're just going to let the cards talk and give us information. All right. So you have got here number 13, Mugwort Dreams, Rhythm, Higher Self, Reality, and Rest. Wow. I like this. So these four key words are very interesting, right? So rhythm. Rhythm is going to be very important in your life, falling into a rhythm and keeping it. Um, so it's interesting. I think that maybe potentially the fact that, you know, one of the shadows that I was able to kind of find here was you uh, sometimes just moving so quickly and expecting so much of yourself that maybe sometimes you get disappointed at uh, not having the results that you want. Um, so, you know, looking around and just being thankful for what you have and what you've manifested so far, um, that in some ways will knock you out of your rhythm, right? So you're moving, you're moving forward, you're getting things done. All of a sudden you look around and you're like, I'm just not satisfied with how slow things are going. You notice something in someone else that maybe potentially you wish that you had, you get upset and, uh, you're knocked off of your rhythm. Right, so very important key is going to be your rhythm in life. What you're gonna do, are you able to, to, to keep moving with the flow uh, that's present for you now? Now, the second key word there is higher self. So, 
you are in many ways when you work when you're at your finest when you have that rhythm you are tapping into your higher self you have the ability to do that so there's this reserve of energy for you uh, that's available to you and that your spirit guides almost uh, they kind of, I don't want to say they bless you with it they just kind of give you access to it when you need it the most and so the only way for you to tap into that higher self energy the only way for you to actually be in that space is by being into that rhythm uh, finding and just letting it letting everything go and just focusing on your craft focusing on your art that's how you get into the rhythm that's how you are able to connect with your higher self now we have here reality uh, and rest so we'll start with uh, with rest rest is very important um, I feel like you know whenever you feel exhausted whenever you feel like unfortunately you're not happy with what you've done or maybe there's something that you just can't wrap your head around stop what you're doing stop thinking and just rest rest your mind I feel like the messages are going to come to you you just need to give it a little time for that download to take place uh, you know, uh, potentially you might have dreams that are going to, in some ways, illuminate a few things, bring some insight into your situations. Maybe you'll have some readings that you'll do for yourself or spirit will talk to you directly, answer your questions. So never get to a point where, um, you know, you feel this desperation and this anxiety uh, to because you just need to know something or you need change or something needs to happen, right? The answers will always present themselves to you. You will always be able to see and look and peek behind the curtain. You just got to give it a little time. Rest your mind, rest your body, rest your soul. You're going to be able to receive the answers that you seek. And so the last card is reality. And I feel like, um, you know, even though there's all this magic around you, you know, even though you are excellent at connecting to source, even though there's a sense of just higher self, higher power with you, um, you're going to kind of be able to bring these things into reality. Again, you are the conduit. You are a conduit from the, the divine, and you're able to bring that magic into the here and now. Um, so it's like, that's why you are someone who is going to just have an abundance of ideas. And, and sometimes I think the hardest thing that's going to be, um, you, the hardest challenge for you, I think, is going to be taking all those ideas and actually being able to do them all and uh, being patient enough to maybe you know put one idea on hold to do something else right because it's like you have so many things that you want to do um, there's so many um, there's just so much I think that there's an abundance of things that you are shown that you have been shown that you are thinking of doing that you see that you're inspired by uh, but unfortunately, you just don't have enough hours in the day. Um, you know, you do have to get your rest because you just, you know, you can't exhaust yourself either uh, because that'll knock you off your rhythm as well. So, you know, interesting. Uh, but reality, you are someone who is going to be able to shift reality, the very fabric of reality. And again, you're going to touch a lot of people. A lot of people are going to listen to what you have to say. And they're all going to have that one mind, that oneness, and they're going to connect with you and your message. And you're going to see that reflected in your work. You know, people are going to be truly, truly motivated by what you have to offer. So go out there and shift that very fabric of reality. That's my advice to you. Get it done. Um, so that is what I see here. This is a truly beautiful, beautiful reading. Uh, my favorite out of the three. Um, definitely my favorite out of the three. Uh, this is my group, so I loved it. Really beautiful. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for more Picket Card videos like these. Um, also, give this video a like when you can. Hit the notification bell. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. Become a patron. Uh, for the low price of $5 a month, you're going to be able to unlock weekly Picket Card readings. I do readings every single week. Um, where I tell you what's coming up for the following week, you know, weekly predictions. So if you're interested in that, um, go ahead and become a patron. I'm going to leave the link in uh, in the description below. And also, I am offering a raffle. Um, we already had the winner for June. The winner for July is going to be announced on the 31st. Uh, so this is a raffle to win a free private reading with me. Uh, so if you become a patron, you'll be entered into that raffle. And obviously, you'll be supporting me in, in bringing the message of spirit and um, assisting people as best I can. 
Um, so I really would appreciate it if you seekers can help me by becoming a patron. Thank you so much to all of you that leave your beautiful comments. I read every single one of them. I unfortunately haven't been responding uh, and it's been very kind of challenging. I've been trying to create more pick a cards and you know, I'm, I'm handling the, I'm, I'm managing the Patreon and I'm doing content for there as well. Uh, so it's, it's been, uh, and then, you know, the private readings that I, that I've been getting, I, I, I do still, I am still offering private readings on my Etsy shop. The link is down below. Um, so, you know, all of that together just kind of takes up a lot of time, but, um, I love doing it. I really do. This is my calling. And so I am responding to your comments now. I'm going to prioritize new, new comments. And, um, so if you write a comment for this, uh, pick a card reading, I will go ahead and respond to it. So I want to hear from you seekers. I want to connect with you. Um, you know, it's something that I really enjoy doing, reading your comments and responding. So I'm going to start doing it again. I've, 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 I'm going to carve some time for that and prioritize it. Uh, I want to thank you once again to everyone. And I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Comment down below. I want to talk to you. Bye-bye.